nominee Anthony Alpino. How are you doing, school? <laughs> and we're going to learn some interesting things about him. So, Anthony, what extracurricular activities are you involved in after school? Well, uh, Maria, I'm involved in football, lacrosse, and uh, I'm in student council as well. Good. Do you like those? I do, I enjoy them a lot. Uh, they have football and cross, they're fun sports to play, and uh, football we have playoffs this year. We I mean, won the CBC. Good, 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 good. So, Anthony, what makes you so unique? Well, uh, if you ever need a house, house after school, I can build a house for you. I make a mean pizza if you're ever hungry, too. And I know my competitors may be uh, talking trash on me. I make a better pizza than Anthony Albino. Albino. But it's only because they're scared. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight back. I'm just gonna leave that alone and I don't know, we'll see what happens. Good for you. <laughs> so and last question, what makes you the perfect nominee for King of Hearts? Well a lot of people tell me I'm always smiling, so if you see me in the hallway I'll probably say hi. And you'll probably ignore me, but I'm still gonna say hello to everybody. And uh, I'm just a happy guy usually, so uh yeah, both of me. Thank you. I have some questions. All right. This is for King of Hearts. I'm here with Zach Suba. Zach, what was your most memorable moment of football this year? Well, it would probably have to be uh, Sprint Falls. The Sprint Falls game, uh, fourth quarter, down by four, 19 seconds in the fourth quarter. This is what every little kid dreams about. So I run my bench route, I break out of it, Cam throws a perfect ball, slide right underneath it, the crowd goes crazy. The teammates are jumping around, we're jumping for joy. And this is the first time we beat Scrin Falls in so long, I can't remember. But that probably had to be the best moment. Now Zach, what are your future plans? Uh, probably going to the Carbon Union, just to uh, make my great grandpa proud. He was in the Carbon Union and just, I want to make him proud. Now Zach, for your final question, why do you want to be Snow King? Well, Alyssa, probably just to make my mama and daddy proud. Shout out to Sarah Suba. All right, so I'm here with another nominee of King of Hearts, Alex Stewart, and we're going to learn a little bit more about Alex. So, what is your most memorable memory from baseball? Uh, Maria, I'd have to say that my most memorable baseball memory would be that time when we are facing state-ranked Aurora, uh, just an underdog team coming in, sticking with them the whole game, and next thing you know, you know I'm up to bat, we got the bottom of the seventh inning, two outs, bases loaded, we're down by a run. And uh, I, uh, I ended up doing what we had to do, working them to a full count and just taking one in perfect form and everything, driving it straight out of the park, deep center field, you know, running around the bases and everything, the crowd just going nuts. Oh my nuts. God, I love it, the AD! It was the greatest you know, feeling ever. Trout in the bases, people cheering my name, got recognized for that play in the newspaper and everything. It was unbelievable. That's so exciting. So Alex, who is your hero? Uh, I would have to say my hero is Ricky Bobby. Uh, he taught me one of the greatest life lessons that anybody needs to know, and that's just simply, if you ain't first, you're last. So Alex, final question. Why do you deserve to be King of Hearts? I think I deserve to be King of Hearts because, well, I just really want to beat Anthony Albino. I want to show up to work the next day and have his dad just pat me on the shoulders and say, hey, nice job, son. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm here with nominee Kristen Eddy, and we're about to learn more about Chris. So Chris, why do you enjoy playing basketball so much? Because I enjoy hanging out with my friends and being part of the best team in the CBC. So Chris, second question. Um, how do you feel having your whole family here at you? Well, my mom gives me snacks. Hannah's pretty fun to have some classes with every now and then. And Anthony Albino would have the best family business, but my family business is here in the halls of West Chicago High School. So the last question, Chris, is why do you deserve to be King of Hearts? Because I'm a very awkward kid, and watching me have to walk in front of a group of people would be very fun to watch and entertaining and watch. Hi, I'm here with Michael Archwell, the last candidate for the King of Hearts. I heard that you play a lot of musical instruments. What are they? Well, I do have a great appreciation for the fine arts. I appreciate the strings the most. I play guitar, which I also have a great collection of, the violin, the bass, but I also have appreciation for percussion, with drums, and then I play the piano as well. I dabble on the keys, so. That's so nice. Now, I also hear that you were a model as you were younger. Do you plan on continuing that career? 
Well, uh, I don't know. I've been told that I have the move still. Like, oh, oh my gosh, guys, stop, stop. I'm so sorry. It happens all the time. Like, it just, it, they all want me back, but I've got the moves. I've been on boxes. You've probably seen me, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I kind of just want to be a normal kid for once. Now, Archie, for your final question, what makes you the best candidate for King of Hearts? Well, I want to always smile for a reason. I'm always in these halls trying to bring joy to everyone I encounter. I bleed blue and white in second. Hey, Archie, come here. We're gone. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, again, I just want to be a normal kid. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm completely baffled by that. I'm embarrassed, actually. But, um... Just lastly, I just want to get across that I make a better pizza than Anthony Albino. Just, that's all I'm saying. Alright, I'm out. Drop mic. Give me all your money. My hero, is there anything you can't do? No, watch this. Ta-da! And just remember, I built better things than Anthony Albino. Pull for me!